in this uh, class we are going to see about the uh, shift operation shift micro operation so mainly there are three types of shift micro operation they are logical shift circular shift and arithmetic shift so what is shift shifting the bits in the register towards left or right okay depending upon whether it is a logical circular or arithmetic it is mainly where it is used this shifting operation it is mainly used in arithmetic and logical operations mainly for uh, multiplication division even addition subtraction everything we can use for use the shift operation so shift right the inputs are shifted one bit to the leftmost position uh, shift left the inputs are shifted one bit to the rightmost position we'll see what uh, how it will be shifted so it can be expressed in terms like this uh, in micro operations like this r1 in shift, shift serial uh, that is shift left l means okay, shift left okay then r1 shift right r2 then circular shift cil is circular shift left circular shift right so this is the notations which we are used for a uh, shift micro operation the arithmetic shift ashl is for left shift right shift now we'll see with an example logical shift left zero is shifted in left position so here you are going to shift left so this is shifted initially the value is aa you can see 1010 is a 10 is also a now we are going to shift left one bit is zero bit so in the last zero will be added okay so this bit will be shifted this bit will be shifted and so on. this will go this one will gone okay so you will lose this value so in this when this is shifted what will happen to the t0 it will be introduced as zero that's all so when you shift again what happened this will be shifted like this shifted like this the d0 will have zero and this zero is gone this one is shifted so this is equal to uh see here division okay 170 is divided and it becomes 84 again it becomes a8 logical shift right now show logical shift right so what will happen here uh, uh, it is just the opposite of the shift left. now it will be shifted on the side the last bit the d not bit is last so one is shifted then in that place d7 zero will be there so again when you shift it's like this. Now, circular sh shift left and circular shift right. That's what we are going to see. What is the difference between the previous one and this one? Here, this bit, D7 bit, goes to the D0. It's a circular shift. The value is not lost. It is again shif uh, uh, shifted and it is inserted as the first bit and so on. So here the leftmost bit is given inputted as the rightmost bit and so on. So here after this first uh, circular shift left, your uh, register will be like this. See here 0, 1, 0, 1, and this 1 has come here. The same again when you do, so this 1 comes here 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and this 0 comes here. So here there is no loss of information. Circular shift right is opposite. Here this data is uh, last D0 is uh, going to D7, D1 to D0 and so on. Finally the D0 comes to 1. So this is where output after one shift right, circular shift right. The next one we are going to see is arithmetic shift right. Okay, arithmetic shift micro operations shift the signed binary number to the left. What is signed binary number? We know R0 to R7. Okay, that R7, the last bit is signed bit. It is, uh, uh, it indicates whether the given number is a positive number or a negative number. So, uh, when doing the shifting, this bit will be, uh, this will this bit will not be shifted so it shifts a signed binary number to the left or right an arithmetic shift left it multiplies it is equal to multiply a signed binary number by 2 when you shift right left 
it is equal to multiplication by 2. When it is shifted right like this, it is equal to dividing by 2. So, leftmost bit is the sign bit. Here, sign bit is 0. If it is 0, then it is a positive number. If there is a 1, then all these are a negative number. So, in an 8 bit, up to 0, 1, 2, 3, 2 power 7. Actually, you can represent when you say 8 bits, 2 power 8 means it is 256. Unsigned number, you can represent up to 256. Unsigned number means uh, 0 to 256 number, continuous number, you can represent. But when it is a signed number and this bit is allocated for sign, then you can represent from 0 to 1. Oh, what is it? Uh, 64, then multiply by 2, what is it? 128. So, up to 128. Only you can represent positive number. After this, negative number you can represent. Okay, the remaining are negative number. So, again, when you represent 0 to 128, uh, with first digit as 0, then you make it as a positive number. When this is 1, then you make it as a negative number. So the number representation is reduced, but you can represent with the positive and negative numbers. Here, unsigned numbers, you can represent up to 256 in 8 bit. Okay. So the bit R n minus 1, which is nothing but this, is the leftmost position which holds the sign bit. Bit R n minus 2 here. This is the most significant bit and this is the least significant bit. Now we'll see the, with this in mind, we'll see the arithmetic shift left. An arithmetic shift left, it multiplies a signed binary number by 2. This is the meaning of that. So now, say 170, here we are shifting. Okay, this. Now when you see it is 84, which is equal to divided by 2, right? Insert 0 into D0 here. Here, a 0 is inserted and shifts all other bits to the left. The initial bit, D1, that is this, is lost and overwritten by this D n minus 2. This will be, this last bit is overwritten. That's what. So, again, you make a arithmetic shift left like this. So, here the sign bit changes. What happened when the sign bit changes? This becomes a positive number. When you see here, when you are shifting, one is that. So, this becomes a negative number. So, when the sign bit changes from what it is previous position after left shift happened when there is an overflow because of the multiplication. Then, arithmetic shift right. An arithmetic shift right divides a number by 2. So, here you move. Then, this bit is also moved. Okay. So, the bit D naught here, this is lost. 